Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts and BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at making resin casted paper heart knife handles. Now these handles are not my carter, they're more of a casting. And they're made with uh, small pre-cut heart shapes, but the technique can be used for any pre-cut paper product. And, and the shapes are are almost endless. I, I looked online on Etsy and they, they make little skulls and they make little fish. There's all sorts of different things you can do with this. This particular knife project is going to be um, an auctioned off uh, knife for cancer. Uh, so anyway, I started with a Total Boat Thick Set Resin. I've been using this a lot on, on my projects lately. It's a very thin resin, takes a long time to cure, which is really nice for casting uh, knife handles without the use of a pressure pot. So I mixed up some clear resin, I mixed it for about five minutes, I poured it into my, uh, my mold, a very thin layer of it, and then I don't want to throw all of these uh, little pieces of confetti into the mold in a, in a clump. I individually place them. Uh, the goal here is to get each part completely saturated with the resin uh, without any air bubbles uh, trapped you know, in between two hearts. And then I thought it would also be cool uh, to try to give it kind of a three-dimensional look. Uh, so I'm going to put make one casting, let the resin harden, and then add some additional hearts um, you know, above that. So they'll look like they're floating above the original, uh, the original casting. Uh, so anyway, I add the hearts, I'm mixing uh, the colors, I'm mixing um, the direction of each heart, and then I just take a you know, plastic knife and I'm just pressing them down into the resin. I was very pleasantly surprised that, that all of these hearts or all of these small pieces of paper, once they were saturated, they really did stay at the bottom of the mold, which, which was real convenient. I didn't have to weigh, it, weigh any of these down or I didn't have a hard time keeping them submerged. Now, if you do end up with any bubbles on the top, I just used a little propane lighter. I, I don't know if you could really see it there, but it instantly pops the bubbles on the top. I let that resin dry for a couple of days. And when it was hard, then I mixed up another batch of clear uh, thick set resin. I poured another thin film on. I just spread that around so it, it coated the entire uh, top of that, of that blank, that knife handle. And then I'm just going to add some additional hearts. And these are the hearts that are now going to be uh, suspended above the original casting. And I think that in the end product, you know, when I finally cut these things out, you know, onto uh, a knife and use them on a knife, that, that having that shadow or that space in between some of these hearts will, will kind of enhance the finished product. Again, I'm pressing each one down into the resin, making sure that it's completely covered, completely saturated. That's really the only way that you could go wrong with these things. And I'm kind of kind of excited at how good these things came out. I'm, I'm going to go out and buy some additional shapes and play around with some other, other ideas that I have. When I took them out of the mold, they're nice and hard. I let them dry for probably three days before I took them out of the mold. And the, one of the tricks to using this epoxy is you really have to let it dry for five to seven days before you even attempt to uh, sand and polish it. You can see some of the hearts that are kind of suspended above the others uh, in the close-up picture, but I think these will come out really uh, nice on this uh, donated project uh, for cancer research. Um, I will show you the rest of this knife build on upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, and because this one came out so good, I am going to make some additional uh, paper resin uh, knife handles or projects coming up. Uh, anyway, I ask that you please leave some feedback. Give me uh, a, a positive thumbs up on this video if you liked it. And I'd like to give you an invite to join us on our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. If you're interested in making your own knives, uh, check out the book that Jason Northgard and I put out a couple years ago called Introduction to Knife Making. And that's available on Amazon.com. Thank you very much.